So, Alexander, what is your group doing to combat this misinformation and to ensure that people can cast votes safely? The ACLU now has a Voting Rights 101. Uh, let me put that up on the screen. And we can talk a little bit about what your group is specifically doing. But some of the stuff that ACLU is doing is, is that basically saying this is your voting rights. If the polls close while you're still in line, stay in line. If you make a mistake on your ballot, ask for a new one. If the machines are down at your polling place, ask for a paper ballot. If you run into any problems or have any questions on Election Day, call the Election Protection Hotline. 1-866-OUR-VOTE. That is Kristen Clark's organization. But can you talk a little bit about what you are doing with the Andrew Goodman Foundation? Yes, and thank you for the question and thank you for having me. So we're experiencing a lot of confusion for young people. They are getting misinformation. So we have a website at Andrew Goodman Foundation where people can come, they can track their ballot, they can cure their ballot. We're helping people by notifying them if their ballot was rejected. We're recruiting student poll workers. As you know, poll workers are often elderly, so this is a very highly targeted population for COVID. So we've recruited almost 3,000 student poll workers across our network to show up and support on election day. But of course, because today is early voting day, we're encouraging people to vote early, to be brave, and don't let anybody turn you around.